Guys, I'm Danielle Baker. I have been in the network marketing industry for just about five years and I hope that I'm going to teach you something amazing today that's going to help you in your journey with recruiting. Recruiting is legit my favorite subject in the world and why it is your least favorite, I don't know, but let's change that, okay? So, how I got here is a little bit different than most. You know, I have the dumbest story in network marketing, I promise you that. I joined five years ago to buy tires. I had never done this before, had never been with any direct sales network marketing companies, and uh, my husband thought I'd lost my brains, to be quite honest with you, but I knew when someone shared a business across my timeline that I had a need and that I could do that too and buy my tires. And that is what I needed. I needed to buy tires. We had no money to do that. So first and foremost, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about who I am so you kinda of know who you're dealing with here. Um, first of all, I'm not quite right, so you'll figure that out along the way as I train you. And uh, just uh, love me for it, okay? Because uh, I, I am kinda of silly. But my uh, husband is a military man, sexy as all get out in that uniform. His name is Jason Baker. I am a mother of one son. I have an incredible granddaughter that is the light of my life and four fur dogs that absolutely rule this roost, okay? So if any of you have animals in your house, I know that you know what I'm talking about. So with me, recruiting has never been hard. And I guess it's just the mindset of when I jumped into this and really decided that I was going to make this a business and a priority in my life, I had been busting my tail in the wedding industry for years. I was a wedding minister and I had officiated over 1,700 weddings and although I loved it and I felt like I was kind of doing God's purpose, um, I was going bananas with the mother of the brides. Um, yeah, the brides were great. Uh, so I didn't know that I needed a change and um, you know, kind of got a frying pan over the head and didn't even know that it was happening until it did but I am so thankful that I entered this industry. I have met some of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. So with recruiting you guys the secret sauce that I am going to train on today is relationships. I joined this company and started building a team right away but one thing I can tell you and I'm going to give you some secrets right off the bat that I did is I showed up from day one. I was extremely consistent so that word is a bad word to a lot of you. Consistency is key you guys. If you are not consistent in your business i.e. showing up for yourself 10 times harder than you would show up for someone else that you're making rich then you need to get on it, right? Because you owe that to yourself and your future lineage. So with consistency, I was showing up full time and working full time and I was hashtag tired. Like I'm not even gonna lie, I was so exhausted, but I saw the big picture and I knew what I was working for. So I just started going live. I built majority of my business live on Facebook and one of the things that was really, really evident from the beginning is when people connect with you, then they know you, then they trust you, and they want to kind of hang out and be your friend, right? So all of a sudden, as I'm going live, people are messaging me and they're like, you look like you're having so much fun and I think I want to join your team. And I'm like, oh my God, wait, wait, wait. I, I don't want to be a team leader. Like, that's not what I signed up for. I just need the rubber to meet the road like literally. And um, finally, my husband said, you know, Danielle, you need to kind of submit to this. It's happening whether you want it to or not. So buckle up, buttercup. Let's go. So at that point, I kind of just um, was okay with the situation at hand. And at that point, I just started building genuine relationships. I want you to kind of revert in your head and I, I seriously, grandparents, great grandparents, aunt, uncles, whoever you want to insert into this, do it, okay? So with your grandparents, years and years ago, they had no internet, they had no Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, anything, right? 
What they did have was face-to-face -face conversations. They actually got to know each other. They had conversations to where if there was a business endeavor, they would approach each other and invite each other, right? And they gained that trust in that relationship. They knew who the family was. They knew who the situation was. They knew all the things about each other, right? Well, now in the internet world, we've become so closed off and the challenge is building an authentic relationship over the web. Now, how do you do that, you guys? You've got to, no matter how private you are, you've got to become a vulnerable person. You have to be um, transparent and let people in. You know, this is not the perfect world. It's not unicorn and fairy dust, y'all. And half of you show up and try to show the perfect part of you when you're imperfect. There's not a single part of you that's perfect. But however, you look at someone else and you think, oh my God, they've got the perfect life. They've got all the perfect things in their life and I don't have those things. It's all a facade. Show them your messy self. Show them your happy self. Show them when you're having a storm in your life. Show them when you're having the most incredible journey in your life. Show them when your family grows. Show them when you have a sorrow. Because when you do that, all of a sudden, they know you. They know your dog's names. They know your kids' names. They know who your grandkids are. They know that you got a cake on Friday, right? Because you've let them into your world and now they can relate. If you've struggled with an addiction or alcoholism or anti, you know, depression or anxiety, please be real with people, y'all. And I know this seems like it has nothing to do with recruiting, but I promise you it does, okay? Because first thing, before someone is gonna buy from you, and the first thing before someone is going to even think about joining your team, because by the way, they join you before they join your company, okay? Before they're gonna do any of that, they have to know that they like you. They have to know that they trust you, and they have to see the authentic person. Because if not, if you're showing up as someone fake, they're going to figure it out. You know, there's a lot of us that have a beacon on our head and discernment and we can see it a mile away. I'm one of those. I can spot a fraud a mile away. So if you're just who you are, you are relevant to them. If you are struggling with something and you share it, all of a sudden you've just connected with a whole audience that may have struggled with something too. So I know majority of everyone that enters this industry, 100% hands down, does not jump in and say, I'm going to build a huge team and I'm going to be a recruiting rock star. By the way, Jordan put together some freaking rock stars in this group. Holy smoke balls. I was like, mm, pinch, pinch. Why am I part of this? And I was like, because you deserve to be here, Danielle. You're a rock star. Okay. So are you. You just haven't figured it out yet. So let's get down to relationships, you guys. How I recruit is very, very simple. I have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. If someone jumps onto my business page and likes or follows, I reach out and I thank them for that like or follow. I go and kind of spy on their page and see what makes them tick, what are they about? And I will have a real conversation with them, right? Your customers, which is your cold market, are your freaking team members y'all they already love your product they're already sold all they have to know is that they can join your company for a discount they can join your company for the business you need to open your mouth so many of you are like oh but i don't want to lose a customer okay but you could change a life mm -hmm. yeah changing lives i would lose a sale any day to see someone's financial future and life changed forever, okay? So let's break down these relationships. Your customers. Reach out to your customers no matter what industry you are in and ask them why they're not doing it with you yet. How I would approach someone is I would inbox them because so many of you are putting these spam posts everywhere. Spam, 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 join my team, join my team, join my team, join my team, join my team. 
It is like a flipping billboard that you're passing every day. You know what the message is, but you're not looking at it because you already know it's there, right? Those are not necessarily going to work. People, one, have to be approached seven to 12 times. So we'll get to follow up, right? But at the end of the day, if you are not having those one-on-one -on -one invitations, inboxing them and saying, hey, Sally, I think you would be so incredible at doing what I'm doing. Why are you not doing this with me yet? That is someone that is already established as a customer. They know you, right? They keep showing up for your, their favorite show and that's you. They know you. They follow you. They're stalking you. That's a good thing. Individually message them and ask them, why aren't you doing this with me yet? I think you'd be incredible and tell them why. Because half the time people just don't feel like one, they can do it the way that you do it, which I don't want you to, right? I want you to be you. I want you to be unique. But two, I want you to excel in whatever avenue you want to, right? They may see you live if your business model is live and they go, I can't do that. Well, let me tell you about the hot mess express that showed up the first time live here. It was a flipping mess. Okay, we don't all show up the first day on a job and master the task. But after years and years and years of practice, you become great at it. Think of your last job that you started. You didn't start day one and make management, y'all. You didn't make it in a week. Same thing here. It is not going to happen overnight, but with consistent hard work, it will. Okay, start building those one-on-one -on -one relationships with your customers. Find out what need they have and address their need because it's a good chance that there's something with your company that will fix something in their life, right? Whether it is health, whether it is confidence, whether it is financial, talk to your customers and quit being afraid of what the outcome is going to be and worry about getting in and actually doing the dang thing, right? Don't be afraid of the fear of a no. You're fearing something that has never occurred. You are coming up with a conclusion that hasn't even happened. And a lot of that is fed from your childhood and your younger years, but get over that because that's not you today. And that is not you tomorrow, okay? So if you've been told a million times in your life, no, it hasn't killed you. It's not going to kill you tomorrow either, okay? If a customer says, you know, I really am just happy doing what I'm doing, say, well, great, I'm happy having you. And move forward, right? Move forward, okay? So that is an established customer. If you've just become a contact or made contact with someone that is a stranger. My advice to you is make the contact go on and make engagement with them to where they start seeing you show up and then again show up as your authentic self. Don't start spamming people. I see this all the time where someone likes your page or comes on to your business and all of a sudden it's like, <gasps> Let me tell you about my little, little, and you're just like vomiting your business in their face. Well, no wonder they unfriend you and run as fast as they can because that's not what they showed up for, right? There was something about you that they loved and got their attention. And then you just started like, you know, you're like the jealous girlfriend, the stalker, where you're like, let me tell you about all the things. And they're like, wait a minute, I just wanted to know your first name. Okay, slow down and build the relationship first. They may never join your team. They may join your team in a month. They may join your team in a year. But at the end of the day, let them come into your life. Build a relationship with that stranger and make them a, a real genuine friend, okay? So how do I approach the strangers? Once we have had that engagement, right, and we've built that relationship, and you're going to do that by conversating, whether it's on their timeline, on yours, on post, on stories, etc., right? You have to have conversations or in, interact with people in order to build something to the next level. 
So if it's someone that is a stranger, I usually will just come on and say, it's, it's awesome to meet you. You know, we definitely have this in common, and I would love for you to hang out sometime, have a blast, and, um, you know, whatever I whatever comes to me in that conversation. I'm going to know more about that person before I reach out, okay? I'm going to give you a little hint, guys. Team building takes effort. Building relationships takes effort. Building a marriage takes effort. How many of you, and now that I said marriage, it just like, I'm squirrel brain, so welcome to my world. <laughs> and buckle up, buttercup, you're on for a ride. Okay, so how many of you waited to have children? I hear this all the time. I just am not ready to build a team yet. I just need to know more about my company. I need to know more about things. I'm just not enough. I don't know enough to be a leader yet. I'm just not ready. How many of you waited to have children or get married until you knew all the things that could possibly go wrong? So you didn't become a parent until you knew exactly what they would do wrong, how to communicate through it, all of the things that could go wrong with a child, every ailment that could happen to through the age of 18. None of you waited, right? Because are we ever going to know everything about parenting and is it ever going to be the perfect time to have a kid? Never. Same with marriage or relationships. How many of you entered your marriage and said, I am not getting married until I know every communication problem that we could ever have, until we have um, every disagreement up in the front, and I know everything that could possibly go wrong with marriage. I am not committing to a marriage, and I'm not going to even get married until I know everything that could happen. Never happens, right? So why are you saying, I'm going to wait until it's the perfect time, or I'm going to wait until it's the, I know all the things that I need to know to build a team and be a leader, and then, when it's perfect, then I'll do it. Well, uh, alert, alert, it's never going to be perfect. Now it's perfect. Right now? You can't wait to grow a team until you know all the things, right? You're never going to know all the things. So you do it messy. You do it scared. You grow with your team and you build that empire and you lift others up and help them build theirs, right? That is your ultimate goal in recruiting. It's not about you. Alert. It is not about you. Recruiting is not about a number. It's not about a sign up. It's about changing someone's financial future. It's about changing someone's life, right? That's why I recruit. I recruit to change lives. Change your mindset, change your mind, and your situation is going to change. All right. So if you're out in public, how do you address a stranger? If you're like me, I am super uncomfortable just walking up to stranger dangers and being like, hi. I'm Danielle Baker, and this is what I do, right? Never, never a comfortable thing. But you can stand in a line behind someone in the Hobby Lobby, y'all, and say, genuinely, give them a compliment. If you say, you know what, that lipstick is beautiful on you. I love it. What is that? What brand and color is that? Genuine compliment. You can look at anyone and find something genuinely to compliment them on. Majority of the people are going to have a, a response, right? They're going to say thank you or anything like that. I usually at that point will say, you are so welcome. And you know what? I really feel led to bless you with something. Can I give you a free gift? No strings attached. And they always say yes. And I will give them my product. I will give them my postcard. It has my QR code. And I'll say, do you have your phone? And they'll say, yeah. And I'll say, this is so cool. Scan this. I just did this. This is so cool. Look at this. Majority of them will do it. Okay. When they scan my QR code, it goes to my link tree, which has every bit of my information about anything to do with me. And I usually will connect them to my social media right then. And I will say, you seem really, really cool in this, in this you know, quick interaction. I would love to keep contact. And I, I hope you enjoy what I gave you and say, have a blessed day and move on, right? Because it's about the connection. They're not going to join my dang team and Hobby Lobby. Well, they might. 
Okay, so I have been known to recruit my ER nurse when I went in the hospital. But majority of the people are not going to go in the Hobby Lobby and sign up on your team in the line while they're cashing out and buying their things, right? But when they are in contact with you and see what you're doing and you've made that individual one-on-one -on -one contact, it's a good possibility that they will, right? So you have to get or comfortable with being uncomfortable. And you will hear that across the board from multiple trainers. I'm telling you, it is the real. Keeping it real, you have to be uncomfortable because that is when you're going to move forward. You will not advance in your business if you're not doing those things. Okay, so you've got to keep cultivating that relationship. And then you've got to open your mouth and actually ask. That is the hardest part. But what are you afraid of? Keeping it real. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of no? If I offered you a piece of cake right now and I said, oh my God, Nicole, try this cake. It is the most incredible cake I've ever tasted. And you go, no thanks, I'm good. Seriously, oh my gosh, you've got to try this cake. This is so good. By the way, the cake's your business. Okay, that's a car lady. You got to try this. And they're like, no, I'm good, thanks. And you're like, all right, well, if you want some, I got it. So let me know. Next time that Nicole runs into a hard spot, she can't fill up her tank of gas. She can't pay a water bill. It's not about Maseratis and mansions and all the things, guys. It's about real life issues right now. It's about a tank of gas. It's about putting lunch money on their kid's lunch card. It's about school supplies, right? So when she runs into that hard part, she's going to go, maybe I should contact Danielle about that cake. And Danielle is going to reach back out and say, hey, Nicole, I saw your kids start at school. I hope that they're enjoying it. I hope you're having an awesome day. And then I'm going to really like and follow their pages. And I'm going to interact. And I'm going to have conversations. And what do you know? After two or three times of her seeing me happy, and being able to fill up my gas tank and the struggle is over here she's going to reach out and she's going to say you know what i think i might try some of that cake and guess what i've been here all all along so i'm going to welcome that with open arms and i'm going to say absolutely let's do it let's go and then i'm going to mentor you do not whatever you do y'all i don't care what industry you're in what company you're in Please do not just sign people up and ghost them. I see this more than I would love to see it. And it is so sad. It taints your company. Sign them up and mentor them. Be a servant leader to them. Be, t be a willing participant to their future success. Because at the end of the day, your success is going to determine on the success of your downline. If you are not lifting them up, you know, uh, we just we just saw um, a speaker, Walter Bond, has the this book, Swim. And I'm listening to this, and he talks about sharks and sucker fish and parasites and how they all have a uh, purpose. I highly suggest you read the book. It's great, right? I'm a freaking shark. I, I'm not going to lie. Most of you are sharks and you think you're sucker fish. Go and read the book and understand that sucker fish needs that shark and that shark needs that sucker fish. As a leader, you're a shark. Your job is to make an impact in others' lives. Recruiting is just the beginning. Leadership is the end. And all the messy that happens in the middle is real, right? So I challenge you to open your mouth offer people a piece of cake y'all no is not going to kill you you've got to change your mindset and not be afraid of building a team your product should be paying your bills and your sales your recruiting and your compensation plan and your income from that should be your 401k for your family I'm going to give you that. I hope that this gave you some value. I would love for you to reach out to me on social media. Um, I do have a business page, Danielle Baker. 
find me. I would love for you to come and tell me what part of this training made the biggest impact on you. But at the end of the day, if you establish a genuine relationship, you're not only going to have lifetime friends, but you are going to have customers and team members as well. I hope you go and crush your business. I hope you have an amazing day and get out of your own way and blow this beast up because you know what? The only thing in your way to success is you and only you. All right, Jordan, thanks for letting me come on board. I am so honored to be part of the bosses that are in this uh, project here in this collaboration. And you know what? Go out and do amazing things, y'all. Danielle Baker signing out. Have a blessed day.